nice to meet you. Very nice, nice to, to meet you. I'm Nicholas from Italy and I write for uh, Cultura Pop. Perfect. Uh, thank you so much for this interview. Of course. Thank you, for, thank you so much. Um, I wanted to start it. I want to start. Uh, I want started to talk with you um, about your Agatha. Mm-hmm. Okay. After the um, Wanda Vision's ending, Agatha seemed destined for oblivion. But now we find her as the protagonist of her own series, where we see her regaining self-awareness and her powers. Mm. Is more of a rebirth or an origin story? I think it is both. I mm-hmm. think that um, through regain through um, uh, through getting the rebirth of finding out who she is again and the um, hunt for her powers that have been lost, um, it, she has to, or the mask starts to fall and we start to understand her origin story a little deeper than we did in WandaVision, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, in, in, uh, in this series, Agatha appears as a dominant figure, yet uh, her vulnerable sides often emerge, especially tied to her memories. What is like bringing this gradual revelation of the many layers of Agatha's character to life? It's an actor dream because you want to be able to show all of those sides and depths of a character, and I never would have thought I'd find it in um, this Marvel beautiful Marvel world. So it's been a real, real unexpected um, pleasure. And also this part is, I love this part. So to be able to dig into her has only made me love her more. Oh, okay. I can understand. It's, it's really interesting in this, yeah. in this side. And, um, as we know, Agatha is an unconventional protagonist uh, compared to the usual MCU characters. Mm. From villain to protagonist, we can say, searching for her own place. What was like to revisit the character in this phase? Well, it felt like the natural next step. First of all, I had no idea that this was around the corner. This is a huge this was a huge surprise. Mm-hmm. Because you're mm-hmm. right, when we last saw her. She was under this this spell, this hex that Wanda had put her under, without her powers. So I always thought that that meant I would maybe possibly pop up somewhere else, but like in little, you know, cameos mm-hmm. or whatever. But the fact that this happened has been, was, uh, you know, a dream I didn't know I had. So it felt very natural because I, I love Agatha so much and, you know, playing Agatha, I don't know what this says about me, but playing a witch felt very natural. <laughs> mm-hmm. But to be able to, um, and it felt, because Jack's writing is so incredible, you just play the play that's written in front of you, and she happened to write this really funny, surprisingly moving, um, wicked story that was uh awesome and then it's got a killer cast oh yes my very last question um if you have to use three words to recommend the series or to our readers what would be the the three unique features that that distinguish this series from everything else for you only three <sighs> okay Wicked, mm. funny, terrifying. Okay, <laughs> perfect, perfect. That's that's all for me. Thank you okay. so much. I could also say me. wigs, <laughs> costumes, <laughs> nails. Okay, okay, I can understand. I, I think that these three words are perfect. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Have a nice day. You too. We got to be great.